And we also see, though, new technologies coming with that. Well, if I have to build in the central business district, my building is going to be more expensive. But most of my building is rental property, right? They're speculating. You build a property, even this, this is the home insurance building. The home insurance company built this mostly to rent it out. They want to make a profit from the building. Um, so what do we do? Well, we can't, you know, it's expensive. We can't build out. Hmm, what direction are we going to build? Up. We build up. There's a reason the skyscraper was developed in Chicago and not in New York. Uh, one reason, by the way, is sandy soil. Uh, New York is on granite, a good solid building material. You can build very tall in stone and brick on granite. Chicago, very sandy soil. It means you're building sink. <laughs> I would just not be too technical about it. But, so you need to make the buildings lighter. But you also want to make them efficient and cheap. And so here we have William LeBaron Jennings, who puts all of this together using iron construction to build a steel frame. Now, it's only on part of the building, uh, just the top floors of the building. It's not a completely steel frame, but it's technically what we recognize as the first skyscraper. The definition of skyscraper is not the how tall a building is, it's its technology. It's, it's constructed with a steel frame. 